Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab Revive Physical Therapy, where we rehab your mind to revive your body. A better and faster way to foam roll the quads and thighs? Sign me up! Before we get to the rolling, please spend a few seconds to like our video, subscribe to our channel. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider hitting the thanks button and donating. We appreciate your support. Traditionally, you can foam roll those same muscle for hours. It just never feels quite loose enough. Here at Rehab and Revive, we create a method called functional foam rolling for better, faster, smarter, longer lasting change. We have five progressions to functional foam rolling. The first one is breathing. The second one is traditionally what everyone does is elongation. The third is shearing. And the fourth is rotationals. And the fifth and final progression is active stretching. So let's get to foam rolling our quads. All right, everyone, get your handy foam roll. We're gonna start foam rolling those quads. I have a half one. I find it just a little bit more convenient, but the long ones work great just as well. So what we wanna do here is we're gonna split up our quads into thirds. So it's gonna be first third, upper third, middle third, lower third. So you're gonna see that we can target those different ones but we're gonna focus on the upper third. So what we wanna do now is go with our progressions here and you just start with breathing. Just find that spot on that upper third or the middle third or the lower third and just breathe. Five or six breaths. After that, what you wanna do is, you're gonna do what classically people do is do these elongations. You wanna be able to elongate these muscles. But just be more focused, be more, be more intentional with this. You don't have to do the whole thing. So you're just doing little by little. After that, you're gonna do these shearing. And it's just me moving side to side. I'm really trying to get that surface side to side. After that, then you got rotations. So you kind of rotate in, rotate out, rotate in, rotate out five or six times all you need. It's tender. Usually this cross friction type of massage is what's great about releasing some of these tendons. And then after that, you just do active stretching. What we do here with active stretching is just do this hamstring curl five or six times. Now what we'll do is we'll move to the middle third and that's generally where a lot of people have it. So start with breathing again. Let's do it again. You know, five or six breaths, all you really need. After that, we can do elongations. I kind of kick up with the other leg that's on the floor. You got one of those long ones, you just go to, towards the side, the edge where it frees up your other leg. After that, you can do shearing, get that in there. And then the oh so fun rotationals. You wanna rotate, 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 rotate. And after that, it's just active elongating, active stretching. Just trying to bow that muscle against that roll and then lengthen that out. Really does such a great job. And we'll move to the lower third, just so you can follow along. All right, lower third. So same thing, take some deep breaths. Then you wanna do your elongating. that, you can do the shears, then the rotationals, my favorite, and then do the active stretch. You see, it takes about maybe 90 seconds to do it all in one leg. And then you, of course, move to the other leg, keep it free. There you go. 
Please give these progressions to rolling a try and see if it helps. Let us know what you think and leave us some feedback in the comments box below. Once again, please like and subscribe. We can use your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.